All right, y'all. So here's the deal. It's just before 5 a.m. And I am trying to get things done. We picked up a new dumpster. That dumpster is not branded. So what I'm doing is I am dropping it off at my sticker guy's place. He doesn't even know I have it yet. So it's going to kind of be a sign to him of like, hey, please brand this. I'll put it out of the way so it doesn't get in the way of his garage door or anything in case he needs in. But the deal is I'm trying to figure out how this whole being a dad thing works and running a small business. Because today is the first day my wife goes back to work since we had our little girl. And it's already not super easy. All right, so here's the deal. It all comes down to logistics. And a little loud in a second. Big Bertha looks nice. I'm loving it. Good looking dumpster. You would not believe I got this about $1,200 cheaper than it would be if I bought it new from the dealership. The person met me halfway, so I didn't have to drive that far. And I've got another one, same exact situation coming up that I'm getting from them, but it's a 14 yard. So <clears throat> I like buying new dumpsters because they just look good when they get stickered, but you cannot beat a deal like that right now. All right, so we're a few weeks in now with this tough remote, loving it still because I can use it for my car. Right now, the uh, trailer's going down and I'm not out. And it is like about 30 degrees and I'm underdressed. I know I've got the car hard on, but there's nothing in there to this. So, there we go. You hit the thing, turn it off, because the last thing you ever want is to be the guy whose trailer gets raised up and then ends up hitting something. I'm headed to go pick up a 20 yard dumpster that is about 20 minutes outside of town, which means it's also 20 minutes in the opposite direction of the landfill. And the reason I'm doing that is, well, my wife has to be at work at seven and Keegan needs to be on the road with the dumpster by 7.30, but he can't really do that unless he gets here significantly earlier so that he can go get the dumpster, load the dumpster, and then drive back towards what I'll call home base here in town so that he can make it in time. So it becomes a logistical issue. Stick with me here. So my solution is before my wife is going to be at work, I and I'm gonna I hope I don't jinx myself here. It's really when you get into a tight window like this, you get rushed and things happen and all of a sudden you're stuck and then you let everybody down. But the idea here is I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna get this dumpster loaded up, I'm gonna get it ready to go so when Keegan shows up to work, he just has to load it and go. And to give you an idea of why I'm doing this is we have no dumpsters. All of our dumpsters are out. All 10 of our dumpsters, except for the one that I just dropped off to get stickered, are out. And I do not want to drop a dumpster in town unless it has a sticker on it anymore. It's kind of like my rule. And what we're doing is he's getting loaded with this 20 because he needs to be back in time to drop it off for a, a drop off. So we have six pickups today and as of now only two drop offs. But that first drop off is within like, you know, an, an hour of him starting. So he needs to get it emptied and then dropped off. That way we're not bringing it back anywhere and then, you know, running around again and then picking it up again. We're just, it's a nice even flow. So some of you are gonna be like, well, you should have just dropped off the one that had the stickers. I'm like, yeah. Well, it's right in the center of town that this thing's getting dropped off. High traffic area. That's a huge, like, advertising miss if you don't put something there that has your logo on it. That's all there is to it. Well, of course, this is a bunch of construction debris on a massive hill. You can't even see it out here, obviously. But on the other side of where my headlights are is a massive drop-off. So that's always fun to back up a half mile driveway in the dark, but we got it. Believe it or not, I've been to this property about a dozen times for this project, but it is definitely full of construction stuff. Uh-oh, we gotta go up a little bit more. Got it pinched on the wheel or something. 
there it goes so what i do is i like to put the truck in neutral as always just roll under this heavy stuff but yeah i mean it's filled to the brim can't see that but something just kind of snuck out i know it's dark guys give it a little time we'll be in the light again all right so it's still only about like 6 30 but i'm trying to keep the momentum going so i've got keegan loaded up so when he rolls up that's ready to go but over here we've got the backup truck and of course i can't take my little savannah banana to go get dropped off anywhere oh you grouchy aren't you grouchy she can't get dropped off until about eight o'clock so oh, keep her warm we're gonna go ahead and get this loaded up keep the momentum going we've got another dumpster we can pick up with the backup rig and then actually gonna take a trip with dad to the landfill real quick that way we can get one emptied so i'll probably drop her off a little bit later than eight o'clock but we keep the momentum going and the train doesn't stop moving oh don't forget if you've got an old truck and you've got yourself a passenger that's this small you need to turn that uh airbag off on the passenger side so make sure you always do that all right there she is first load picked up in the backup the funny thing is she's already asleep the more chaos there is the quieter she is i don't get it she gets real tired when she's in this truck it's like it lulls her to sleep so the louder things are more chaotic things are i swear she falls asleep but as soon as there's silence watch out since most of this is just wood and isn't gonna fly out, I usually just toss one or two straps over the point of where wood could lift out at high speeds because, well, I just don't wanna rip up my tarp on nails and wood and that stuff's not going anywhere with that strap. And we might toss one more just across here just to make everybody on the highway happy. Otherwise, here we go. Let's get her loaded. All right, update the dumpsters are all picked up all but one we have it actually loaded on the back of the trailer and we'll worry about it tomorrow so we've got five of the six dumpsters I had to empty emptied we did our two drop-offs on time that's always the goal and we actually got one more drop-off in in the meantime so it's been hustle 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 sorry I haven't showed you guys everything we've got the dumpster there we're driving home right now uh, I actually the reason we didn't get the sixth dumpster was a uh, we had another drop off, which is kind of cutting it a day. So we made sure we got that right away. And then outside of that, uh, I got a text message from my tire guy telling me the tires are in. So I told Keegan, double back, unhook the trailer, go drop off the truck. The funny thing is, he kind of called it a day after that, which I told him to do. I told him, go ahead, you know, call it a day. Um, I can come pick you up in a little bit, or, you know, you can just find a ride which he did luckily i i knew his uh a family member literally lived down the street from the tire shop so he's like i'm calling it a day man i'm tired he picked up that dumpster over the weekend which is awesome we made sure to get him paid for that but he already put in his weekend hours so i'm sure he was ready to bounce but now my wife's at work nobody in my family is off today so i now need to go find a way to pick up my truck because i don't want to wait We'll get it all right so we're in the home garage and we could either take this Ooh, those tires are flat and i really don't feel like doing physical labor or we could take this now that looks like more fun to me right now my neighbor's dog hates me all right so we'll break into the uh it's actually cold so this is more just for the fact that it's cold but break into the go-kart bag. This thing was literally, uh, somebody gave this to me as half their rent one month. Said they didn't need it and we needed a pit, pit bike for go-karting uh, at the track. And this, uh, this was a very unexpected, uh, well, it wasn't really a purchase, but portion of rent. And I haven't started in months, but wow, those tires are firm for the most part. So my little brother loves this thing. But every once in a while I squeeze on it. Whatever it takes to get the job done, that's all I'm saying. Not only has this thing not been started in ages, I barely have any fuel for it. So, either I'll stop and get some, or I'm just going to live on a prayer and hope we make it. Holy cow. Oh, used it all on the chainsaw. I'm not sure if this thing's going to get anywhere. 
Maybe we'll stop and just add a little bit of regular fuel and see what happens.
Well, we got it. Let's get out of here. It's not stupid if it works. Love them. Great for the landfill. You got to have those. Fronts I just put on a couple weeks ago. So, a little worn down already, but man, they look good when they're new. That's it. We're calling it a day. Like I said, sometimes you just got to go to extreme lengths to get stuff done, even if they're just kind of fun sometimes too. But got everything unloaded, loaded, and we got everything maintained. So that's the goal. Tomorrow, hopefully we have no drama. We have a few drop-offs, a few empties, and we keep those momentum going. Catch you guys in the next video. Hope you like, subscribe, and comment. Catch you next time.